And we're rolling. Coming in, everybody. Hi, it's Maria from What's the Story with Maria? How's it going? Um, so we want to welcome everybody to our show. We go live every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on Facebook. And of course, our mother station, Armed Radio, armeddigitalmedia.com, Arm Radio Global. And uh, this was originally a station that was started for the armed forces across the country and 66 other countries. And now we have, uh, everybody listens to it. So, and also people pop on on Facebook. So if you are watching, please let us know you're watching. And I have, um, okay, let's see who we have. For, uh, Anthony Burley has joined us. Annette Zito uh, have joined us. And uh, we got a couple hearts coming up. And so tonight, what I'd like to focus on, you know, every week I have different, I try to have different themes or I try to have commonalities or Richard Koch has joined us. Richard Koch, I saw you. He's a photographer. He was doing his little thing out there today and I watched him. That was really great stuff. Ken Perlstein. Oh, right. Good. He's an, also in our, our show. T Rena Cunali Berge, my cousin Rena has joined us. Chris DePiro has joined us. We shot a movie yesterday. Me, Chris, and Susan wow. Campanero, yeah, Amazing. we did a, a follow-up to another film we had made, and it was a blast. Ed Kutu has joined us from Blade Salon and uh, Rocky Hill, Connecticut. Bill Goffey has joined. Uh, okay, so we got uh, people are coming on, and you'll uh, you folks will see they're just gonna they're gonna keep popping on and popping on, and that's the way um, that's the way it goes with the Facebook Live. And also, if you are listening live across the country or in another country wherever you are and you hear me mentioning people's names, it's because people are popping on our Facebook page. So that's what that's all about. I'm not hearing voices in my head. That's for another day. But okay, uh, Isabella Raskowski has joined us. That is my cousin Marisa in Massachusetts. Hey, cousin Marisa. Yeah, oh, she she would love, love, love to be here. She was actually on one our Christmas show. So, um, okay, so every week I, call on two of my great friends and I, I usually I find people that have something in common and this week I really wanted to focus on actors and they're both um, people that I watch all the time they're always doing something they're always working on a project they're always in, uh, in something's uh, being created they're uh, they're amused for something there there's always something happening and I respect both of them and their opinions as actors, and I've often asked them questions about different things. Um, so I brought together tonight my friend Ken Perlstein and Liz Stanton. Now, disclaimer, Liz uh, has a little bit of a froggy thing going on. She doesn't normally sound like she does tonight, so we have to just uh, cut her some slack. Michael Barberi has joined us, and so Liz is going to be a little bit closer to the mic. Thanks, but Maria. Yeah, <laughs> there she is. Okay, so I'm going to start with Ken. So, um, Ken, I, first thing was a few months ago, I asked you because I heard a voiceover uh, thing that you had done, and it was fantastic. And so, and you uh, turned me on to this great teacher that I'm actually going to pursue. And um, so I didn't even know you did voiceovers because I know that you're a comic. And I kind of sort of knew that you were an actor, but now, like, there's a thousand things going on with you, right? I've got a lot going on. A lot going on. So, <laughs> and you're a dad, right? I am a dad. That's what they tell me. Yeah, I saw that. And then I saw just recently that you, there were some pictures on uh, Facebook of uh, a, a, a little girl that's playing your your daughter, right? Yeah. So you're a dad in real life and you're a dad in as an actor. Yes. I wrote a pilot called How Am I Doing? And uh, Samara Conley, who's a fantastic actress, uh, plays uh, my daughter, Becca. Did you get? Did you have a hand in casting her, or was yeah, that? Yeah, I, um, I did. I, I uh, originally, when I wrote this over a year ago, I, uh, you know, I kind of handpicked people who I sort of wrote it around, and somebody suggested her as a daughter, and she's been with it. Her parents are fantastic, and they've been with it for over a year, and we finally start shooting uh, next month. Okay, and what? Give me, uh, give us an idea of what this particular uh, project is about. How Am I Doing is a, it's a very dark, uh, gritty comedy. Uh, it's, it's pretty much real life, uh, very based around real life. And it's about this actor named Eli, Eli okay. Meyer, who's uh, trying to get back an acting career. And he's also trying to stay sober at Wonderful. the same time. He's wow. trying to co-parent uh, an 11-year-old, his 11-year-old daughter with his ex-wife. Wow. 
and gates to a heart surgeon. So it just, it just uh, you know, kind of takes a look into the life of, you know, that sort of, that sort of thing, that sort of dynamic. Wow. And he's got demons. He's got a demon. Uh, I don't want to give it away, but all okay. alcoholics have sort of their demons of, right. you know, what it looks like, what their demon looks like. So he has wow. that. Uh, he's got an agent. Uh, That's played fantastic. by Julie Hayes, who's amazing. So it's, it's so it's great. His, his his once really good agent is now selling essential oils on the side. I love it. So I love it's, it. Uh, it, it. It's great. So it's uh, I'm, I'm really excited. It's a dream come true to do this. Wow. Okay. This is like I, a, a thing I didn't even know until just a few days ago. So I want to scroll back down because people have come on. I do want to welcome them. A lot of them are our regulars. I, I Eudenia Mesa. That's my girlfriend. She's popped on. Linda Hi. Carroll has uh, popped on, uh, and our accidental intern, Leo Rodriguez. <laughs> Every week, Leo comes on and helps out. So if we talk about certain things, Leo can find if there's a, a dot .com or a, I've hashtag a lot of stuff. Caitlin Rose Cantrell has joined us. Uh, Susan Kilty Sawyer. Hi, Susan. She's in my hometown in, in Massachusetts. So this was something that you conceived and yes, but you don't just think of something in your apartment and then it gets done. There's a lot of steps towards it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I wrote a short film. I wrote, uh, I, I never considered myself a writer before. So three years ago, I wrote a short film uh, for a uh, film challenge. It was a 15 minute film. It was kind of heavy actually. And wow. uh, someone said, well, you know what? You should start writing as well. Wow. So that's what I started doing. And it took me a while to kind of come up with a concept. Uh, for this pilot. So, uh, you know, I was working with a mentor for a little bit. And so we kept adding things and he kept challenging me. His name is Nick Job and uh, he was fantastic. And yeah, he kept challenging me and I got better at pushing back. See, that's what you need. And, uh, that's, yeah. I think that's what we all need. Yeah. I mean, that's why teachers are so great and, and mentors and you need people that are going to keep you accountable. You know, right. my, my best friend Susie is like that, you know, like when we work on stuff, I, I can get very easily like, nah, I'm really busy this week. Can we do it next week? And maybe uh, no, keep pushing. And she's very good about, it. I'll show up. I'll be at your apartment on Thursday. We're right. going to record everything. Don't worry. It'll only be an hour. Right. You know, she'll, she can j just get me into a block of time and make me work. It's like a trainer. You need people like that. He was great. And he knew just when to let go. And I think I had like 40 pages at the time. And so I just, at that point, I just had an outline in my head of exactly what I wanted this to be and where I saw it going. Wow. And did you create the characters ahead of time or did they kind of sort of pop in as you went? Um, they, they sort of popped in as I went. And yeah. I thought of people I know directly who could play these characters, uh, which helped a lot. Yeah. So I got a face with them. Uh, I could hear their voice doing wow. it. Yeah. And... Uh, so yeah, it was, it was, um, a lot of it came together and, uh, you know, we, we, uh, I, I sort of sent it to a few people as I was doing it, you know, yeah. what do you think, am I onto something? If not, be honest with me. And, uh, one of my good friends, Julie, who's plays my agent, who's a, an amazing writer. And yeah, actress. Yeah. So I thought she was going to lightly pound me. Right. And instead she said, wow, you know, you really have something here. This is great. I love each and every character. That's and I fantastic. I want to know where this is going. So first reading came in uh, January uh, 2018. Okay. I had 80 pages at the time. We did the reading at my apartment. We packed the place. Wow. Nobody wanted to leave afterwards. They all wanted to keep talking about it. And, wow. Uh, now we have a half hour pilot. Wow, that's great. So. Oh, I'm so excited about that. So, uh, so uh, we'll have to keep, and it's called, How, How Am I, I Doing? doing? Yep. How Am I Doing? That's wonderful. Yep. That is so exciting because I didn't even know you were doing that. So we're going to switch over to Liz. Now, Liz is an, act, an actor, a teacher, a singer. Wow. And I just found out tonight that she's also a sound designer. Who knew? You see, you're friends with people for years, and then I know. And then you find out all these things. And Liz has lost her voice a little bit. So we're going to go yeah. easy on Liz. Thank you. But I can vouch for Liz. I've seen a lot of her stuff and she's amazing. Now, let, I'm going to segue first to the teacher part of it. Okay. Since he was talking about mentors and things like that and how important they are. Yeah. Did you, were you first an actor or, a t or did you, were you drawn to teaching first or acting first? Acting first. Acting first. first. Yeah. Okay. No, in fact, 
most of the people in my family are teachers is that and true? i did not want to be a teacher did you kind of rebel against that a little bit yeah, yeah secretly yeah but then as soon as i got my graduate degree and i was like oh i can actually teach now and i really love teaching yeah teaching is great i love it's teaching it is a tough job and do you uh because i teach too i only teach one day a week though but do you can you do you, you feel that you can see your work in in people your influence and your student how old are your it's students hard to by the say. way different they're ages college they're okay. college age and and to adult it depends i teach it well and it depends what year you're asking me right yeah. now i'm teaching at two different schools <laughs> okay last year at this time i was teaching at four different schools okay oh, and wow. the schools that liz is teaching at are nyu yeah right the experimental theater wing Okay. Wow. Yeah. And great. also at the New York Film Academy. That's right. Okay. That's right. So and these later are later. I'll teach at Baruch. Wow. These yeah. are very prestigious places. The this is, program, yeah. yeah the this is not somebody program. putting up a flyer in a, a pizza joint, like <laughs> you know, if, if you want to. <laughs> One guitar lesson. Exactly. Hey, but that guy Dan Smith, I gotta find him. We gotta have Dan Smith. On. <laughs> we he doesn't remember. age. No, he doesn't age. Or maybe the. Let me go back and he say hi to. to the harmonica. So uh, Leo is uh, yeah is searching for websites. If we. Is there a website for how am I doing? Um, there's a Facebook page for how am I doing? Okay, okay. I also okay. hashtagged it. Is so, it how am I doing? How am I doing? Okay. okay. And uh, Cheryl Rubenstein, uh, uh, Juliana Rubenstein from LA has joined us. Melissa Driscoll has joined us. All performers. A lot of our people that watch the show, they're all in the performing arts. Yeah, because they're your buds. They're my buds. Yeah, yeah and that's who I know. Um, okay, so, and. Um, so you were teaching at four schools last year. Last now, year, yeah. Was it your choice to back down and just do two? Or is, that sounds like an overall. You know, it to kind me. of, you know, it ebbs and flows. Yeah. I'm not in control of who's asking me to teach when. Okay. So I usually and you teach say acting, yes. right? <clears throat> I teach acting, but I also teach um, at Baruch. I'm teaching in the arts administration master's program, and I was teaching a cultural class. And now I'm teaching, I'm co-teaching um, an independent producing class. Wow. See, this is all amazing stuff. Yeah. Darcy Blakesley, also an actor and voiceover artist, has joined us from L.A. Beth Henry has your hey, former Beth, Henry. Is that Beth your friend? Yes, yeah, one of my friends, Beth. Hi, Beth. What's Hi, Beth. On? Look who's here. Look who's Ken, here. Ken, everybody's here. Everybody's here, I'm telling you. We're doing a tremendous job, believe me. He did this early. Could you do a little more of that? All right. We're on a Facebook Live. Maria was very kind enough to, to let us join. And despite what's going on, and believe me, I have a lot of things to do right now. We're getting attacked. I'm getting attacked for making this country tremendously great. That's what's going on. It's not a joke. It's so not very nice. Not very nice. It's so good. It's tremendous. Not very nice. Actually, it's tremendous. Tremendously awful. <laughs> Oh my God, it's so good. All right, so uh, now, uh, so you are teaching a lot. Do you, when do you have time to audition, or or do you work more on projects at a time? Because you're. I in don't really audition right now. It's, when would you have time? <laughs> teaching is like I, a commitment. I'm doing work that other people are inviting me in to do, or I'm doing my own work. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to come back to you in a minute because I want you to just catch your breath with your yeah, voice. So I don't want to wear you out. Right. It's all good. I'm, yeah, I, I'm just going to sip water here as we go. Um, so uh, we're going to come back because I saw Liz in uh, two uh, incarnations of uh, a play that she was, that you actually helped create. Yeah, that's yours. Yeah. That's yours. Blue for boy. Okay. And then Liz has purple for spiritual. And I, I have a blue one. So I mean, I have a <laughs> green one here somewhere for prosperity because I'm trying to spiritual. pay off my credit cards. Okay. Yes. There we go. Now, uh, so Ken, Cheers. you also are a comic, right? Uh, yes, I'm a, I'm a comic. Now, um, we is that something that you just said? Because most comics that I know don't start off being comics. They're doing other jobs, and then they re, re, other people realize they're funny. Or they take a class and someone says you should do this. I think stand up is one of the hardest things a person could ever put themselves through. It's not easy. No, it's not. But it's fun. It is so much fun. The rush is incredible. I, one of my favorite memories as a kid is making my sister laugh. I don't know how well she was my first audience, oh, and that's it was really like, cool. I mean, I was like, oh, how do you do that again? So, and I've been chasing that forever. But um, did you? Were you working a regular job and then? 
decide to do comedy or did you just go straight into being a comic? No, um, you know, when I was growing up, uh, you know, we- Did you, grow, you grew up in Chicago, right? No, I grew up, I was born in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Oh, okay. So my wife is from Chicago. Oh, cool. And um, Elizabeth, love you, hope you watch it. It's better uh, so be watching she's from Elizabeth. Chicago. I was born in Michigan. Uh, but we moved around a lot. So okay. We moved around the country pretty much. But uh, so I just had a knack for voices. I had a knack for characters and impersonations. And uh, were you a, a ham as a kid, like a I was class a clown? Yeah, me too. It could be a little bit of a class clown. Yeah. You know, depending. Sometimes it was great. Sometimes it got me into a lot of trouble. Absolutely. Uh, but I really, you know, I, I didn't really start pursuing stand-up comedy until I was in. Uh, graduate school is getting an MFA at the uh, actor studio. Wow. And uh, actually Billy Crystal came on. He was on inside the actor studio. This was like 1997. Wow. And uh, he went to the same college I did, which was in Huntington, West Virginia. It was Marshall University. The thundering herd. Go herd. And uh, <laughs> yeah, go in West herd. Virginia. Okay. So it's a little bit different. It's go herd. I like it. Exactly. So he, uh, so I did this whole rendition at that show for him. I, I asked him about Marshall. I told him I went there. And I said, people speak weird there or something like that. He said, well, tell me about it. So I did this, I did this whole rendition of Jews in West Virginia. Oh, my God. For him. And I don't he must have it. loved it. I almost blacked out. I was so scared. Yeah. I did it. Um, and he said, well, you need to start doing stand-up. So it, 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 little by little, I started doing stand-up. But acting has been my main thing. Okay, great. Wow. Well, when Billy Crystal asks you to do stand up, then I guess you do, you do stand up. You do stand up. You well, that's stand-up. what it is. Sometimes you see something. Uh, let me just take a moment. Rainy Cole has joined us. Rainy, how are you? Ann Arbor. She, Rainy's from Ann Arbor? No. No, uh, someone said. Uh, yeah, Rainy. Oh, hi, why. Rainy. I didn't know that. Look at that. That's great. She's you learn things work. about people. Kia Nelson, she's in Philly. She's our Philly girl. Jill Anderson, she's out in um, Jersey, all the way out in Morristown, out that way. Um, she was one of my students, actually, when I was teaching out in Morristown, doing That's an great. adult cabaret class, but she is a, a big wig in her field. I won't tell you what her field is because it's kind of secret, so I don't want to give it away. I'll tell you after the show. But she scares people, let's put it that way. Um, okay, so, so sometimes someone will see something in you that you didn't even realize you had, and then you pursue right. it. Uh, hi, Cindy Crager. How are you, honey? She's joined us. Nice to see you. Um, so now Liz, with you as a kid, did you, um, did you have this pull to be an actor as a kid or were you a shy kid? You seem oh. a little shy. Really? I mean, not on, once I see you on stage then I'm like, whoa, where did that come from? But if, if I were to just, and I, you're my friend, so I know you're not shy, but if I were to just meet you say at a party or on a train, I would think that's a shy person. Well, that's fascinating. Yeah. I mean, that's how I, I would see, but you're a Gemini. I am a Gemini. Like me, so. They're Gemini. There's, uh, what are you, Ken? I'm a Libra. Oh, well, that makes total sense. I'm surrounded. Yeah, right? My girlfriend is a Libra. Most oh. of my friends are Libras. Yeah. Surrounded by Libras. So what, as I a mean, kid, then, I what think did you... I was a pretty, I was just like kind of bopped around. I was pretty social. I think I was a singer before I was an actor. Right, and which I learned this about you maybe a few years ago because oh, I man. thought you were an actor first and you were singing. Yeah. So I was the kid in church where everyone would like look behind them to see like who's singing so loud and then look down and see me. Oh, because you were little. Because I was tiny. Oh, wow. And I was like just were you, belting did, it So out. you sang at church? Were you in the folk group or in the No, no, choir? I wasn't in the choir. I was singing from the, from the pews. Know, from the pews. You wanted to be heard. Oh, wow. Yeah. I love that. I just, That's really cool. I yeah. Just, uh, I think mostly those are like the Christmas carols or something, but I I really did. I just sang out and yeah, and I wanted to play the but piano really early. So do you? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I'm not a great piano player, but I play to teach voice lessons. So That's yeah, great. That's amazing. Yeah. You teach voice. And you're in the yeah. And you're in the city now because I know you traveled a lot. Yeah, for I a was while. just in India. This is amazing. Tell us about the India trip. So I was I was um, asked to play Titania and Hippolyta in Midsummer Night's Dream. Amazing. And in India. In India. And they mention India a lot in the play. Um, it's oh, a do... little Indian boy that Titania has that she's fostering because the mother has died and that's oh, wow. her. She's, you know, raising this boy and 
That's like the cause of the whole jealousy between Oprah and Titania. Anyway, that's like the family drama. But um, it was really amazing to be in India. And how much time did you spend out there? Two and a half months. Wow. Yeah, because I was rehearsing with everyone. And, you know, it was amazing because uh, it was the Oroville Theater Group. I bet they're going to watch this later. So I'll say shout outs. Shout outs to Oroville Theater Group. Well, you know what? We'll hashtag them too and, after, uh, yeah, after the show. Jill Navarre is the director there. And she. How did you get connected huge... with them? So I was in India eight years ago and I was going to India. I was going to Oroville on my own. And so I looked up theater companies and are, is there any theater in Oroville? And Jill, um, her email address came up and I emailed her. She took me all around Oroville. Wow. Showed me every theater space, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I love this!" We had we had dinner together, and we just stayed friends on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook and, is uh, great for that. I'm telling you. And last year, I was um, we were just texting back and forth, I aming, and she said she was she was directing Midsummer, and I said, "Oh, I've always wanted to play to Tanya," wow. and she was like, "Oh, why don't you?" Wow. You see how like, that works sometimes? Wait, that's great. That's yeah. how I get to play Titania. I just say, I want to play Titania. Well, so, why not? Sometimes that's what what, it, what happens in the universe. Exactly. There's this pocket I mean, and this little this little window that happens, yeah. and you're at the right place at the right time, and you just have to say, say just what's wrong with saying it? Right. The, mo- the worst someone can say is, no thanks, or we're all set, or we right. don't need anybody. I always used to just be... I would hold back and not say anything. Now it's, it's just not good. That might be the shy part that you think you see in me. Maybe. But I'm definitely starting to say what I want. Yeah, it's good. And so to say that and see, to have someone respond that way is like. Libras are great at it. Libras are real. I find Libras are very say good what I want asking for it? what they want. Yes. I'm great at asking for what I want, but do I get it? Well, I'm kidding. Well, no, I, I, no, but I, so, if you don't get it, but you you still ask though. Of course, I, I mean that's I ask, I ask you know. I and the ask. thing with auditions, I remember a couple of years back, an, an agent saying, the thing about auditions is the ratio is one in forty. So yeah. you you will book one in forty auditions, and th- like the person yeah. sitting next to me was like, what, one in forty? And I the first thing I thought it was like, let's just start going. Yeah. Like, yeah, come on, think about it. let's just, let's get them out of the way. Yeah. Let's just keep like auditioning yeah. early on. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, sometimes you're like hit like in one year. Well, you just can't think about it. No. And don't. then you other years go. you just go and you just, you know, the joy's in the journey. Kate. Kate, Kate Greer. Greer. You know, you know Kate, Kate Greer? I know Kate Greer. Yeah, me too. I know she Kate Greer. She lives on my block. You're kidding wow. me. Wow. on a block. Oh my God. Kate Greer was on the show. Kate's fantastic. Kate's awesome. Uh, Leah Sutton has joined us. She's out in uh, Miami, I believe, and she uh, she was in is in the uh, business. She's on the agent slash manager side. Nice. So she's an amazing. She was Mar- Mario Cantone's manager for many oh, wow. years. Yeah, and he was on the show last week, and she popped on. Bill Young has joined us. Um, okay, yeah. Okay, uh, Rainy, are you also a Libra? I believe, right? It's true. You just have to ask. I'm learning that from Judy. You have to ask for what you want or go for it. And then really, what is the worst that can happen? It just doesn't happen. I mean, next. Uh, I mean, right? she wasn't offering me a job. She just said what she was directing. And I said, oh, I've wanted to play that job, that role. There you go. You never know. Now, Ken, you are uh, also working on another amazing uh, project. I think this is your second season. Yeah. Yeah. It was the second time we shot last week. Okay, so why don't you tell everybody what you're working on? One of the most fun shows out there. Uh, I do a recurring role in The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. He's so um, good. I play a role called Dougie. His name's Doug. And uh, yeah, it's been a, it was a blessing. It was a, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it I, looks like a lot of fun. Everybody is fantastic on it. Everybody in the cast and the crew is amazing. It, it's a wonderful set to, to, to work on. And and you shoot you must shoot in New York, right? Oh yeah. Um, if I told you where I shot twice, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, you don't have to tell me. I won't make you tell me. That's okay. I don't want. To. If you want to tell me, go ahead, Ken. We're in line. He's good. holding out. He's holding out. You see uh, how the mystery, the mystery. <laughs> go ahead, Ken. I took the elevator down to set. You took the elevator down to set. The elevator from my apartment. You, what, took it down to set. No. Yeah. 
That's it, right on your block? It was shooting in my building. No. Twice. It's do you know the deli? The scenes where they're in a delicate Yeah, pest. yeah. That's the old artist delicatessen on uh Broadway between 82nd and 83rd. Wow. So that's what they use. That's crazy. So how that's wonderful is that? That's a nice commute. Yeah, it, it was really one, is. you know, the first year it was on, I had to sit there, go outside and see all the trucks, everything around there. And I'm like, why am I that in the show? And then and that was the first year. That was the first year. And then the second year, my agent, you know, got me auditions for it and um I got it. And wow. And you're so back. good. You're really good. Artie, right? It's in uh, my name, Doug. Oh, Doug. Doug. Yeah, Doug. Artie's just the, uh, oh, I know Artie, exactly. It's, it's what the Artie's. stage deli. It's the stage deli in the, in the show, but it's the old Artie's delicate. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Good. It's, okay. Uh, so now you, uh, did you just finish the second season or is you, you're in the middle of shooting it, right? Well, we just started the, the, the first season. The, I mean, the third season. The, the third, third season. season. The first episode I was in. Okay. We just shot it. All right, wonderful. I love that show. I just started <laughs> watching show. it, actually. It's a but, great show. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I didn't even know you were in it at first. And then I started seeing you post about it. That's I don't have the, the beard. I tried to shave this to go back on it. Oh, so you had to shave the beard. Yeah, so he's not, you know, he's... How long shaved. does it take you to grow a beard, though? Um. Well... A couple um, of weeks? I, I guess, yeah. This is the... Everybody's different. Yeah, everybody's different. So... I'm not the hairiest Jew, but you know. Listen, it's not the worst thing you could be a non-hairy Jew. I mean, there are worse things you could be, but uh, I mean, I know friends that literally they can grow a beard like that, and some people it'll take them like a year to get. People are like a Sasquatch. I'm telling you, they call those bears down in the village. They call them bears. Yes, I know. With bears down the village. Well, you know. (laughs) That's another kind of bear. That's another kind of bear. (laughs) Um, okay, so you're doing that. That's really cool. So if yeah. everybody, if you haven't already started watching Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, this is a great reason to start watching it. Because you'll see Ken and you'll say, oh my God, I saw Ken on What's the Story with Maria? And there he is. And uh, now how can we see your other project? Is that something we can, will we be able to see soon, hopefully? How am um, I doing? Are there clips of it that we can see? Or not yet? Uh, I mean, there, there's, a, there's a teaser that we shot uh, a few months ago. Uh, okay. That you can see. And, uh, you have to keep us posted on I that. I will. I will absolutely. Uh, I will do that. And you can please feel free to post to my page and then I, I will post it to the What's the Story with Maria page. I will do that. And um, if people want to follow you, Kenny, how they how do they follow you? Uh, well, I'm not on Twitter anymore. Okay, that's good. Though. That's, I'm so glad. I know. I don't even go on, on it. Go on air. I have I no desire. Off of it, so glad good for you. You're doing something right. <laughs> So they can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram at kperlstein250 or just type in Ken Pearlstein. Um, you can follow How Am I Doing on uh, Instagram as well okay. and on Facebook. So, yeah. So we're going to shoot it for uh, three days in May. And after that, you know how it goes. You have the editing process. You have post-production, which could take a couple of months. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, after that, you know, we plan on we're, we plan on pitching it to... Uh, several networks. Wonderful. So we would like it to get picked up as a series. So if you're listening out there, you never know. You never know who's listening. Okay, so Leo Rodriguez says, oh, Leo Rodriguez. That's our, and I have to say it that way. Everybody should say it that way. If you're on the street and you think of his name, just shout it out. Leo has already hashtagged, how am I doing? Okay. Thank you so much, Leo. That Leo's is great. awesome. Thank he you. He does that. He does that. He's That's really awesome. Cool. You're awesome. You're marvelous. He really is a marvelous <laughs> guy. All right. Now, um, Liz, I want you to talk about that wonderful play that I saw you in. Oh, and the, the woman pros- that was me. The woman that was me. Who was me? Who was me? I did it. So is, that, is there a hashtag? We we have hashtag. Was there, there is a Facebook page for the woman who was me. The woman who was me. Leo, if you, if you don't mind doing that. Okay. George Hernandez has joined us. And Mando, wait, we have to stop. Mandar Chick Magnet has joined us. My friend Mandar, he, he is Indian. And let me tell you, Mandar, no matter what picture he has on Facebook, he is flanked by gorgeous girls. Flanked. I mean, sometimes there's, I, I, there's just a wilding of gorgeous girls. And so I call them girls. Girl, right. Mandar, maybe uh, we can just walk around singing that. Uh, and he's just flying. So I call him Mandar Chick Magnet. He comes on every week. Mandar, you, I'm going to have to have you on the show, I think, at some point. Victor Flores has joined us. He's an amazing chef down at Joe Allen. Oh, nice. And oh, Orso. Wow. Really? 
and he's going to be on the show soon. Yes. Oh, my God. You're going to cook for him? I am going to cook for him. Yes. yes. Listen, I, I get nervous with these because I had a chef on a few weeks ago, Randy Witherspoon. Do you know Spoon Fed NYC on 51st? Oh, Leo, thank you. What, Leo, you it's, see what he does? Leo's amazing. That's fantastic. He really is. He put, how much, look at, he already put it on there. Indiegogo, but yeah, it's great. Uh, we're not, we kind of, uh, yeah, we raised her money and I, I thank you so that's much. That's the way to do it. He's wow, very helpful. Great. So we have Randy Witherspoon on. We're going to have uh, Victor Flores. We have chefs on all the time. I cooked for Randy. I also had Steven Daniello. He's a famous chef to the stars. Actually, I did not cook for him. He brought calzone, and I was not going to say no. So oh, calzone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if someone wants to bring calzone, what am I going to say? No. I had to eat it. I had to eat it. <laughs> all right. calzone to my daughter's wedding. <laughs> exactly. Um, all right, Cheryl, please have Leo and Mandar together on the show. That is not a bad idea. Actually, my 100th episode is coming up June 11th. Leo wow. and Mandar, put that in your book because I might have a little party what with the is? regulars. I might have a regulars party. They have been with us for all those episodes at the house. I might that cook is. for all of you. What do what? you think? Wouldn't that be cool to have Leo Rorius and Mandar, Leo. chick magnet? Do yeah. it. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, Leo, if I ever meet you in person, I, I owe you a cup of coffee at the very least. So yeah. thank you so much. Oh, you're gonna love you're gonna love it. You will get along great. Okay. And Annette Zito, she's gonna have to be on the show. Annette cooks, she's got a show called Kitch Annette. So Kitch Annette, and she is a cook and she has a uh, YouTube page that she uh does all these great recipes from. All right, so now Liz, please yeah. tell us about the woman who was me. Yeah, so the woman who was me, I started um, I read this piece five years ago. Uh, I met this playwright at a party and, um, I was here or in LA. It was in Ohio. Okay. Of all, places, see, of all places. At a school where I used to teach a university. Okay. Denison. And, um, I was just goofing around. I said, Hey, if, uh, if you have some place to send me, I teach and I could use some of those scenes in my, with my students. Wow. And then I said, or if you have a play for one woman in her middle age, you know, you could send that to me. And he was like, I'll send it to you tonight. Wow. wow. And I, again, you I mean, put you it are, out there. I did. I, I did. That's great. Right. That's what, and, um, there's a common theme here. Who asks, I mean, honestly, who asks a man playwright, a male playwright, if they've written a play for one woman? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's divine do, intervention sometimes. Maybe uh, I'm telling you, you have to be yeah. open. Somebody does. Right? So the playwright's name is Peter Granbois. Amazing writer. Incredible writer. And then the great thing is he says he has this play and he actually sends it to me. Wow. He had and already finished great. it. It was complete. Yeah, it was done. And, he, and no one had um, performed it yet. Wow. And... I read the first five pages and I was like, I have to do this play. Amazing. And I just, my, my mind just exploded with ideas of um, idea, how, how it might happen and sounds. That's where my sound designer right, right. Cause I didn't know that came you were... in and, wow. and we had a bunch of conversations, you know, um, and uh, ended up doing it with the United Solo Theater Festival. Wow. And, um, and it was amazing. I saw it twice and uh, blew my mind both times. It's really intense too. That's a, I'm, how long is that show? It's right now. It's 75 minutes. Yeah. And you are all, I mean, you, it's just you the whole time it and is. it's intense. There's a lot of intense stuff that happens in that show. She has quite a journey in that show. The character yeah. Lainey. Yeah, she does. We did a three week run of that show. And got like great press. Well, you did it down on Forty Second Street at the. We did right. it at what was the Forty Second Street at the um, Theater Row. Okay. It, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was and a big then deal. We did it at Theater Lab, and we ran it for three weeks. Right. And um, we were nominated for five Innovative Theater Awards. That's amazing. And we um, for like best solo performer, best direction, outstanding new play. That's wow. great. And a best choreography and best lighting. And we won for best lighting. Wow. Did you yeah. design? Awesome. No, Kate no. Jaworski did the lighting design. And I Jeremy Williams is the director. Come to think of it, the lighting was amazing. I mean, the whole, sh everything was amazing. But I all that's what I always know is lighting. 
yeah and in, in, in anything in cinematography that's like my those are my loves you know like my my secret loves yeah. uh, a couple of people have joined us that just flew by peggy bauman has joined us hi peggy and um oh, i saw a couple more people maria filiomani has joined us let me scroll down she is a sweetheart she's out in morristown yeah kate saw the show too that's what yeah kate and kate is an amazing actress so coming from yes. kate that's a big deal all right so a lot of our friends have joined us now and uh the whole gang is here for sure kate helped me learn those lines she did oh that's dedication i gotta tell you i that's the part of acting or singing that is so difficult for me memorizing memorizing oh my, no because i'm a singer i'm an yeah. actor so i have to learn I lyrics to sing. you did i didn't know that yeah ken Come on, Ken. Ken, what are you holding out with? And I can't dance. <laughs> I can't it. dance either. Did I you did have to? Time. I did. Uh, Ken, I didn't know this about yeah. you. Nice. Tell me about that part of your life, the singing I, part. It was called undergrad. So, <laughs> what, what, what did you like to sing? What was something that uh, I you like I show mean, tunes? I did a little bit in, uh, yeah, I mean, we did the Pop? we did the plays. We did the Rodgers and Hammerstein stuff we did um what is yeah. it two give me two audition songs that you had in your oh home. my god was it give me your up tempo ken what was uh, it my up tempo gee but say it as trump um <laughs> tell me what you tell me what you're trying up to remember that time in september <laughs> when you were a very young callow fellow <laughs> i would say try to remember the size of my member but that didn't really work out too well it didn't work out they didn't like that very, very scary. Very scary. The mushroom shaped member. But it was a member. Oh my God. But I did company. I worked on company a little bit. Oh nice. yeah, I could see woods. that. I love into I love both right. those shows. Those are great shows. Oh my god. See, Giants I did in the sky is a great song. There are giants in the sky. I there love it. Top, there are wonderful giants in the sky. Ken! I didn't know this. You see, all these great things are happening. Now that's what I mean, but that's a song with a ton of lyrics. Oh I God. that's See, what I sound sometimes. Like, oh my God. When you're into the words and you're way behind you, you can't remember it. You know. I'm telling you, Stephen Sondheim is probably the greatest a musical theater. Uh, yeah, he's all right. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's great. I he's waited awesome. on him once, though. So really? That's another story for uh -oh. another day. All right, you don't want to. Not a him. not a bad person to wait on, but there's another story for another day. However, incredibly talented. But that's the kind of stuff that always I'm like, oh my God, the lyrics. Oh my God, the. But I do so end up doing. So Nathan is like. God. Oh, I love that show. Y yeah. Oh, so many. Hey, now, George, I see your baby. Listen, we've awoken something in Ken now. <laughs> I believe he's going to be singing all I'm through dinner. Because, you know, we, we have dinner. Oh, wait a minute. What time is what it? Is it? Uh -oh. We have right. come to the part of our show called Go Ahead, Keep Eating. You have to do it with me. Ready? The part of our show called Go Ahead, Go ahead Keep, keep eating. eating. That's good, Ken. Now that it's, um, and what that means is every week, if you've never seen a show, every week I have creative people on. That's the mission of my show to talk about the reality of living, thriving, surviving in the city as a creative person. We have different types of creatives, but I say to myself, you cannot ask creative people to come on if you do not challenge yourself as a creative person every week. So I, I will email or text them or whatever and say, do you have any restrictions, allergies, or food preferences? And usually they do. This week, you guys were like, no, everything's pretty good, which is wonderful. So last week, I made seafood, so I did not make seafood this week. Uh, hi, Bra uh, Brendan Ryan. He's a captain in NYPD. I salute wow. you. And also a bagpipe player. Oh, and wow. Brendan, I wanted to have you on for St. Patty's Day, but he was too busy. I mean, he's NYPD and Irish. Forget it. Can't get them in the month of March. But let's make it happen. Okay, so what did I make for these wonderful actor friends of mine and now i know that well i knew you were saying but now we know ken is also yes. all right so i went with the chicken dish and this is what i did i marinated chicken in ginger soy vinegar and then i caramelized red onions and um put some garlic in there and then separately i cooked some delicious um asparagus baby bellow peppers uh, I mean, baby bellow mushrooms, cubel peppers and garlic and onion and a little bit of butter there and some herbs. I used Provencal herbs. And then that is on a quinoa and brown rice bed right there. Now, yeah, it smells good, doesn't it? But I have really a good. ton in the kitchen. You're going to love it. 
Now, everyone knows me. I love a nice salad, and it has to be pretty and colorful. So this salad is romaine, wow. uh, kale, red uh, cabbage, orange peppers, Persian cucumbers. There's a little bit of dill in there, and uh, there's a little bit of celery seed. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put a, a raspberry vinegar with a nice extra virgin olive oil, and we're going to go crazy on this thing. Now, for desserts... It's going to be delicious. For dessert, oh it is God. spring. We have sprung into spring. Oh I didn't God. make this. I bought the cake, but then I decorated with beautiful. Um, my cousin Rena will appreciate this. She's all about the visuals. This is a lemon bunce cake. It's a bunce. And then I have strawberries and blueberries, which I love. And I'm going to put some whipped cream on that too, but I didn't want to put the whipped cream on there and then have it, you know, not look so good. So that's what we're having for dinner. That's my reward for my guests. I always cook for my guests. Uh, given the the restrictions and all that, which you guys gave me no restrictions, so I went crazy. Thank you for uh, people are liking that. So now I want to uh, segue to food. Uh, Liz, what is your reward food when you do something? When you do something great and you're like, I have accomplished a great thing, I'm going to let myself eat something incredible. What's your reward meal? Or do you do that? I do. I reward myself every day, by the way. Um. A with more like a whole meal or, or just, whatever something that maybe it's just candy or maybe it's just what's something like you're like oh i earned this a schmackery's cookie a schmackery's cookie which she i love that which she also brought tonight by I the did. way she brought as a gift so we will be eating schmackery's cookies as well if you've never had one schmackery schmackery yeah there it's on for it's just one place or they um, have yeah. it's on 45th 45th There's schmackery chocolate ch yeah their chocolate chip cookies. They're, you know what else is delicious? Have you ever had Levain cookies? They're up in Harlem. Mm. And I think there's one on seven, in the 70s, close to you on uh, Columbus. And they're gigantic chocolate chip cookies. I try not to go there too often, so I try to, I try to reward myself with other things, too. Other things. But, like a nice, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, whatever. You know, but I, I know, like, with food, me, I'm like, I'm going to like. Ken, what's your, like. What's your go-to if you're like, oh, I worked my head off this week. You know, I'm having a blank, blank, blank. You know, it, it depends what the occasion is too. So if I've worked my butt off, if there's a, if it's during football season, I, I love sports. Ken, let's go. Talk I about will it. Love college football. I love college football and they, college hoops. They they go. work harder. They do. They're they, hungrier. They work harder. They they're hungrier. They just, it's just, there's not as much drama with all this other money stuff on the side and all this. They're loyal, you know? Yeah. Uh, so I will reward myself. It's a good game. I will reward myself with wings. I have Blondie Sports Bar on See? 79th Street, right around a corner from me. I like Blondie. I, Blondie's a cool place. It's been an institution for a long time. I love their wings. I love the hot wings. You like them hot? Is that I your like thing? them hot. Okay. Uh, now it now it depends if it's now if it's something else if it's something that you know I love this this is uh, it can be uh, it can be a really good pizza so there's oh. a couple of really good pizza places by us there's a thick the grandma slices you get like a I love that. grandma slices yes I prefer Maybe that actually with the thick I mean they're not messing around with the pepperoni it's like thick thick pepperoni sauce it's called the uh, new york pizza company okay and where's that that is on 80th and amsterdam all right i'll have to check they, it out they are not messing around see what you're talking about i like this they, i like they're the not kidding they are not kidding man. did did they just bring did they just open on 9th avenue and 45th street they, maybe i think they have i think they have yeah I've had it's I, their pizza's they really have, good they they're, they're, they're their pepperoni. With, um, pepperoni but they also have a grandma slice but with um no, no, they call it, yeah. E eggplant. I love yeah, eggplant. Yeah. Do you like eggplant? Oh, my God. Bring some Pepsi so with you. It's so good. Listen, you have to. You know, I carry all that stuff with me. Oh, my God. Um, Yeah, for me, it depends. I mean, it's, I, spaghetti. I cook a lot sushi. of that stuff. So sushi, I love. That's my reward. Love sushi. Food. That's a huge one. I cook a lot of Italian food, and I cook in big batches, because if I'm going to cook and take the time to do that, yeah, and it's like you want to freeze it or you want to give it to friends. Or like my friend Emily, who's a mutual friend of ours, she her husband loves my meatballs. So if I make, uh, I have to make a for Sai. Yeah, sweaty. Well, they they're not particularly <laughs> sweaty meatballs, but I 
some stuff. I, I love it. Really go for go for the shwedding. I, I love it. But uh, so I'll make Sai a bunch of meatballs, <laughs> you know. Ken, I may make you some meatballs at some point. Uh oh. Those yeah. will definitely be sweaty. Yeah. They'll those will be <laughs> you'll have to sweat for those. Sweaty. Oh my god. It'll but be a schmackering of sweaty balls. Schmackering oh, you see where this sweaty, is going. This is going, this is going south very, balls, very quickly. Oh my god. All right. Stop it, Ken. Sure. So now what do we do? What do, where do we go from here? what's your oh. next what's your next thing that you're doing? Oh, uh well, the woman who was me. Uh, looks like it's gonna get picked up. I'm I'm working on uh, booking a tour for that show, wow. and um, I'm in the midst. And where is that gonna be? Can you say yet? <laughs> uh, in the West Coast or the East Coast? It's gonna be in Colorado. Okay. I think it's gonna be a Colorado college. Okay. But it's not a done deal yet, so I don't want to, you know, jinx okay. it or anything. Okay. But I do want it to be a Colorado college, so we'll just put and it out there. Is it That's going what to, I want. Now, is that, would that be That's going to the want. West Coast as well I at hope any point? I hope we're going to do a whole West Coast tour. Oh, that would be I've amazing. I've got folks from San Diego all the way to Vancouver. I know, I know. And I would like to just... Book it along. I wouldn't mind doing that show for six months, just like. And that's a hard show, though, Liz. That's a hard show, but know, you can handle it. It could be kind of lonely, but I have a whole team. Yeah, you I do have a team. team. Oh, I have a good okay. stage manager. I have a light, great lighting designer. That'd be great. My director will be with me, and then he'll he'll come and go. Okay. Um. But yeah. All right. So West Coast, look for Liz, um, and and all that in that area. So we'll keep you posted. Same thing. If Liz, right. if you're doing it, post it on my page. I will post it on what's we'll the story do. with Maria. And we will share. Well, that's what we do. The whole point of me doing this show is that I want to help my friends promote their stuff. And the thing is that I have always been a person that uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm yap, I'm chatty. I, I, you know, I talk to a lot of people and most of my friends are in the performing arts. So when I first was asked to do a talk show and uh, Joe rocks, who's the big cheese at arm radio said, well, what do you want to do it on? I said, the, what I know best is entertainment. And I know the behind the scenes, you know, and so that's what I want to do. I want to let people know about projects people are working on. So anyone that's been on my show knows that just put it on my page and I will forward it. And Ken, you are going to continue now to work on how am I doing? Right. Um, I have one more show that I'm shooting. It's uh, HBO succession. What's that? Uh, it's a show on HBO. It's a series. It's called succession. So I, uh, I have a co-star on that that I'm shooting. So uh, you're like the hot new thing right now, Ken. I wouldn't say hot new thing. <laughs> Let's say uh, a hot young thing. Certainly not young. But sweaty. I would say lucky. Lucky. Hot no. Sweaty thing. Listen, there's no such thing as overnight success. We talked about this last week with Mario. People think you're an overnight success. They don't realize how many years you've been at it. Yeah. But I also feel that sometimes if something catches fire, people see you in things, and then they see you in something else, and then they're yeah. like, oh, they all of a sudden they notice you, you know. Uh, it's like, oh, that for one year, I got three commercials in one year and then wow. you won't get anything for 10 years, you know, you won't. And, and that particular thing, you know, so it's like, cause one thing leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. It's like, oh, that person, that person. So with succession, what's, tell us a little bit about that. Hey, it's a, it's an HBO series. It centers around a pretty wealthy family in the city. And, uh, yeah, it's exciting. It's okay. A, it's all, it's a, it's good stuff. Um, is it a recurring role? No, 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 no. It's a, it's, it's a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a co-star. Okay, and cool. It, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be shot in Lake George. So. Oh, wow. Now, nice. let me ask you about your family. Like, um, your, your son is how old? He's six. Oh, His wow. Name's Jacob. He's cute as a button, by the way. Thank you. Thank you Very so cute. Thank you. He looks like you. He does. Yeah. He's got the better looks from his mom. Oh, does he? Okay. Well, moms are good like that. They usually lend the, the better looks that happen. I'm not all the time, but. Um, now, does he knows you're an actor, right? Mm -hmm. What he does. Is he, does he see you on TV and he does. say that's my dad? What does yeah, he think he, of that? He, he's funny. He starts repeating the lines of the other actors. Who oh, does? Yeah. So he's yeah he's he's really funny. And then we'll go to uh, if I take him to places, it's it's me and him, and he's very social. He's really social. So he'll he'll start chatting it up with anybody. And if it's another dad, he'll be like, "My dad's on Mrs. Maisel." That's and, great. And what do they say? They're <laughs> like, oh, 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 thank you. Oh, really? Are you? Oh, yeah. That's great. Uh, yeah. 
All of a sudden, you're the popular dad, right? What are you going to do when that ends? I'm like, no. I mean, you, you see, know, why do people, I mean, but people are, they think like that. Too. Do you find that? Here's a here's a kind of a tricky question. I'm the goofy I'm, parent. I'm the goofy dad in this. Uh, we need uh, the goofy dads. God I'm knows. Goofy, you know, There's too many serious ones. Um, What, uh, what I was going to say is, uh, as an actor, sometimes, and this is not going to be a popular opinion, but I almost find that it's the other actors sometimes that can be the the downers you know like um no it's true it's the true. lay people will be like wow that's so great congratulations and it's that weird energy sometimes with other actors it's the envious energy it's like God damn, that's so good. but then, i'm happy for you i'm really happy yeah, yeah well how'd you, know? you get that how about when people go oh how'd you get that you, who booked you for that run the opposite direction if someone asks that's what i found if people start right. And even, oh, how, so what do I, uh, oh, how does that happen? Or how do you do, just try to change the conversation. How do you get into that casting director? Right, right. Oh, who, did you know somebody? Or I always find that that energy is so draining. Is. So, uh, I mean. I, I just tell him that we were doing lots of cocaine one night and he just gave me the part. And did, and did, you, you, or that you just had, had to sleep with people. Yeah, I said, you know, oh, I bought knee pads. I went to the hardware store. Yeah, well, Ken, oh, we because he's, go down you know. Slowly roll. <laughs> that's it. He had a, Ken had to put out. That's it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell people. Ken had to put out. Let me see. We have about maybe four minutes left to our show. I know. We I'm started sorry, to go Liz. down. That's man. what happens. Liz <laughs> is the good one in this. Actually, yeah, I'm being good. very well behaved. Liz, thank you God you're here because... If it was just me and Ken, it would really have gone south. It would have gone cool. south a long time You have, ago. You have oh kept God. us afloat with your dignity. Thank you oh so dear, much. Thanks. All yeah, right. So, hey, Jimmy, how much time do we have? I'm, I'm thinking four minutes, around four minutes. About six. It's about six minutes. Okay. Six minutes. Five and a half. Five and a half. Thank you. Uh, I want to shout out to Jim Bell. He is our engineer and producer. Thank you, Jim. Thanks, yes. Jim. Jim is amazing. He's in New Hampshire, and he runs the That's show. You're welcome. He runs the show like a, like a champ. He runs all the shows, actually, on Armed Radio. One after another after another. Armed after Radio. Another. Yeah, Armed wow. Radio. That's what the the, uh, That's awesome. the mothership started for the Armed Forces, and now That's great. everyone listens to it. It's really cool. Across the country. It never started from the Armed Forces. Oh, it didn't? Oh, Jimmy, you just ruined my fantasy. Yeah, I know. That's what Joe told me. That's what Joe told me. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Jimmy. You just now I'm sad. Thank you. But anyway, all right. So that's Jimmy. He's our engineer <laughs> and uh, he runs our show every week. So if you guys had something to tell um, that that kid coming to New York or there's somewhere else about acting, what's what's something that's like, this is something I never forgot. Like, I, you can't forget this. Okay. Um, you can't forget it. Be a doctor. No. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, save some money before you come. You yeah. Know, like, be prepared before you get here. Don't just wait to get here and then try and learn. Like, learn, yeah. do, 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 get as much as, learn as much as you can. Because if you can't stand it in your own town, like, if you don't like acting there, mm. then I don't think you're going to like it here. Yeah, yeah, you have to like right? the actual. You got to love it. And I told my parents, like, I'm just going to do it until I don't like it anymore. And it's just like, oh, I'm still doing it. It should be a hurting business. You know? Yeah, you I have know. to love it. You have to love it for, for it. You have to love it business. for loving it. That's yeah, it. And it's okay not to know when you're in the middle of the work. Just keep breathing and make take it off your partner. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a long road, kids. It's be a long patient. road. I would just say be easy on yourself be patient um if you're looking for this to to happen i've, I've heard people I, i've heard people go well I'm, I'm gonna give myself a year to make it i'm like I oh my god terms, make it make what what do you make right play-doh nothing you're making nothing but be patient it's gonna take a while it will take a long time and you're gonna have successes you're gonna have failures uh, you're going to be really high and then you're going to be really low. And because of social media today, um, everybody looks good on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Everybody looks like they're winning on Facebook. Right. And it's Facebook doesn't really show you the struggle unless you care to, you know, show it. Right. Um, but yeah, be patient with yourself. 
And and I also think classes, like I can't say yes. enough about classes. Yeah. Learn. No matter how long you've been in the city, that's what always jump starts me. Like I want to take I want to take some voiceover classes now. I'm like, right. it's just a time to get back in there, you know, like it, it no matter how long you've been here, it just makes you yeah. feel like you're doing like rejuvenated. Yeah, I haven't done any ca <laughs> on camera work for a long time. I've been doing really focusing on theater, theater. and um, I'm I'm really excited to take some on camera work, on camera classes, yeah, so right. that I can like dip back into that. Absolutely, yeah. and it just and then it also puts you in circles where people know you again. You yeah, know, absolutely. no matter how long you've been in there, it's just good to get and people take to the workshops. Yeah, yeah. Take the workshops. A lot of people go, oh, it's pay to play. You know what? Take the workshops, okay? Build relationships. Absolutely. With people. Um, yeah. Yeah, but that's the way. It's like anything else. Yeah. It's an investment. You have to invest in yourself. You know, and uh, a lot of people that aren't in this business see the same thing. It's like, well, if they're not paying you for that, why would you do it? Or, you know, because it's like any, you, you, you know, anything, any kind of training. Are you in anything right now? Uh -oh. What have you been in that I know? I'm like, well, if you're asking me, then you don't know. Right. How about, yeah. how about when people, like when I first moved to the city, it was 100,000 years ago, and people would say, did you ever hear of backstage? You should look, you should get that. Like people that aren't in wow, the business. Thank yeah, you. thank you so much. Whoa. Yeah, they have these crazy ideas. Mind of, blowing. Oh, can you introduce me to, or let's say you are in something or doing oh, something. Jesus. Can you introduce me to, you know. Oh, Jack Wolf, can you get oh, me on Law Order? Oh, like, you're on, you're, you're in a show. Can you get me free tickets? Wow. Like, why you don't Come even on. value seeing your good friend in a show? Yeah, like I know we need to value art a little bit more. Absolutely, well, people are a lot of people are looking not our friends so much, but there's no. a lot of people out there, and that's another thing I you mean, start to weed yeah. people out as you go. You know, why don't you have more lines? Stephanie Greco has joined us. Um, let me see who else because we got a few minutes. I want to make sure I say hi to everybody. And, a, and then we'll go back and read the comments. You know, when you guys get home and stuff, you read all the comments and you can respond to people. But anyway, um, yeah, so most of these people that have come on tonight, Suzanne Mason, a lot of these people are in the business and they understand, hey, you know what I just recently saw that was so good was that um, with Melissa McCarthy, that new movie. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, that which, which, uh, when she's writing, she's the she's writer. She's the writer. Yeah. Um, can Good you for ever her. forgive me? Good oh for my her God! For like doing something completely out completely of her, completely out of um, what we expect, and really like doing it. It was and it was filmed in the village, so it's just like all those scenes. And it, I love anything that's filmed in New York. Yeah. Although I hate it when I have to move my car because I have a car. So up here they film a lot, yeah, and they, when they'll yeah. take up whole blocks, they film. Yeah, like Blue Bloods up here. Um, I mean, she's everything. God friended me up here. Yep, they filmed. Oh. Like that um, so anyway, um, if you are a New York actor, you know, just keep at it. If you're an LA actor, that's a whole separate thing. A pilot season, you know, people like cram for pilot season. Just keep, I have a friend out in San Francisco, Mark Nasser, man, this guy is always writing. Like he never stops writing. He never stops creating new things and then people just want to be part of it and, and that doesn't mean that every day is going to be great and that you're going to be a star every day you just have to keep creating that's really what it's about i think people don't realize how much work it is yeah it's a it's a lot of work yeah Maria, it's time to wrap it up all right honey so we are at the end of our show we want to thank everybody we want to thank jimmy we want to thank armed radio we want to thank ken perlstein Liz Stanton, please come back 9 p.m. Eastern right here on Facebook Live and Arm Radio. We love and appreciate you. Good Thank night. You, Maria. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, Maria. Bye, guys.